Hi, I'm Fred Free, the executive chef for BYU Idaho Food Services. COVID has drastically changed how we do business. Our um, numbers of meals are down drastically. Um, we were shut down basically for several months. Uh, we just did very small amounts of food. Um, a lot of us were off for several months um, during that time. Um, since we've all been back, uh, our numbers are probably, I would guess, 20% if we're lucky, um, out in the crossroads of normal, maybe even less, 15% probably, I guess if I had to really, really guess, um, probably 15% of what we normally typically do. The Oriental Dragon has also changed significantly. We used to offer, um, this was, both these stations were self-serve and we would offer uh, two kinds of rice, noodles, um, sweet and sour chicken, orange chicken, um, and then egg rolls, spring rolls, sauteed vegetables, quite a, quite a variety here. And now it's just grab and go. We only offer teriyaki chicken and orange chicken. Those are our two choices at this present time. Um, so it really has changed uh, significantly. Um, the lack of business, our business has shrunk at least by 50%. It's picking up now, but at one point it was closer to like 80% shrinkage in our business. So uh, we cut back a lot of stations, uh, different offerings. We have expanded our good to go section during COVID. Our curry on station, we used to offer two offerings here. We cut that down to one during the COVID. Another. Another thing that's really changed are our fountain drinks. We don't offer fountain drinks anymore. So you can see we have them closed, covered up. There's no cups available. The machines have been turned off. And, uh, and we have no idea when those will be available again. We have been taking care of uh, the students uh, who are quarantined either with or a roommate of, of someone who has uh, COVID. And we provide them two meals a day that we prep uh, every morning. And, uh, and then we deliver those. We don't deliver them, but we package them up and then they're picked up by someone on uni from university and, uh, and delivered every day to the, to the students who are in, under quarantine. Well, we're, we're given a number uh, for the next day at about 4 p.m. So we'll make adjustments from that number when we get it. Uh, but we have a we have a menu it goes for two weeks because none of the students are on quarantine for more than two weeks. They'll only see that meal, that rest, that menu once when they're in COVID lockdown. Everything's in a in an aluminum foil to go uh, container with a lid on it. And you just take it out, put it on a plate, throw it in the microwave. The largest numbers that we've had uh, were approaching about 300 at the height of it. Um, and like right now, we're only doing like 30. So, and 300 is not a big deal. I mean, we can handle that, even though we were doing two meals for them every day. So that's about 600 meals. That's just, it's still not, it's not that difficult for us to do. Um, and then at and on the weekend, we would do an extra two. Um, so, and then if it's a holiday weekend, then we had to do an extra three. So that was five meals. So that was 3,000 meals that we had to prepare on a Friday to be delivered. COVID's changed a lot. I mean, especially since we're not allowed to gather. So that's changed a lot of catering because we can't do the parties anymore, really. Chicken salad that we serve with rolls, fresh made rolls. So that's one of our meals today. Oh, well, when we were in the height of COVID, we were doing, what, 300 meals a day. I think the height was 379. 379? So then on Friday, take 379 times two, actually times four, 
So it was a lot of work. You wouldn't believe how many of these we have to pinch closed every day. I hope you, I hope all the students realize how much work goes into making these meals and we, I hope you appreciate them. I mean, we appreciate that you're here away from your family, going to school, and we wanna make sure that you're taken care of. Anyways, it's a lot of teamwork and we work, work together and get everything done. And it's, it's been, it's been a fun program. I know that this has been a real challenge, and I know that um, a lot of the students who have tested positive hardly even feel any symptoms, but I also know that others have been really sick. We've had several employees, that have been, um, student employees that have been very sick, and so we're grateful to have them back and that they, uh, that they were able to survive uh, as well as they did. Um, we've also had full-time employees that have gotten it and have been very, very sick, and I'm still, even after seven months, uh, are still feeling the effects from the scarring in their lungs. So it is a serious disease that we need to take seriously. And uh, and it's, it's a rough thing to be quarantined for two weeks and stay home, but you know, it's important to do it, you know, so that we can get through this and, and move on hopefully soon to a, a more normal existence that we're all used to. I think we're all longing to be able to look at people in the face without a mask on, you know, and be able to uh, hug and shake hands and, and all that, you know, that, that uh, personal interaction that we, that we all need uh, in our lives. So we're missing it. I think everybody's missing that. Fist bumps just, and elbow bumps just, they don't, it's not a good substitute for a hug, yeah. you know, or a nice handshake. So mm -hmm. hang in there.